Okay, so a small video for today, but someone is working on some kind of a realistic mix with classic FPS game that looks like some really good fun, it's, and it's only being made by one single developer. I truly love to promote games that are made by a small team or just one person, because a single video, a single promotion of their game can change their life forever. For example, when I covered a game called The Relics on my channel about a month ago, which is also made by one single developer, well, before that video, the game wasn't known at all, except if you follow the guy on Twitter, but the video got more than 1 million views and the popularity exploded right after that for the relics. So if you like this game that you're seeing here, which is called Cop Bastard, coming this year, well make sure you wish this on Steam and follow the developer, I absolutely love what I'm seeing here. It's like a mix of James Bond and Max Payne, with the old school interiors, the animations, the enemies and such, but you also have the weapons that look more realistic than everything else, which makes for a different feeling compared to other retro games. Scott Bastard is a old school classic first person shooter inspired by action movies from the 90s. Takes place in the early 90s in Japan. Detective Katasha B, yourself, has a very bad reputation as a cruel, rude, and unprincipled police officer. He's just a bastard that goes and kills everything in his way. Local residents and small bandit gangs try to stay away from him because of his not the cleanest and most obvious solutions to problems. Among local boys, he is known as Uncle Barry. Due to the fact that he does not part with his beloved pistol Beretta, the only love in his life that has never let him down. The character will also be able to wield other weapons such as UCs and shotguns. However, even such a character who avoids any serious business manages to get into a story that he tried to avoid all his life. Here are the key features for this game. There is a bunch of crazy action in lots of intense gunfights across many different unique locations. Make yourself be remembered in the city by, by shooting and shooting everything that stands. You'll immerse yourself in the game and until the very end it will not be clear how the story of a cop from Osaka will end, says the game's team description. And finally, the graphics and the sound. The graphics and sounds in the game are made in such a way that the player truly feels like a retro classic character and plunges itself into the story for some all out action fun after a long day of work or school. This looks like a fun little game that we'll be releasing in 2022 and that will have many different missions for you to do. For now, there's not a lot of footage, but let me know if you guys would like me to cover it more in the future by supporting this video and subscribe. Also, make sure you check out my other recent videos, and there's also a lot of videos coming this week on free games, on free demos, so make sure you stay tuned for that because there's a lot of promising games in there.